plant cells share many of the same features as animal cells. They too have a nucleus, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi bodies, and lysosomes. But plant cells are different from animal cells in other respects. Plant cells, like animal cells, have a cell membrane, but they also have a thick cell wall surrounding this membrane. Many plant cells also have large sacs called vacuoles. A vacuole contains fluid consisting of water, sugars, and other things. A vacuole full of fluid is like a balloon full of water and keeps a plant cell rigid. When the vacuoles of a plant cells lose their fluid and dry out, the cells can no longer provide rigid support. As a result, the plant wilts. Many plant cells, particularly in leaves and stems, have tiny green bodies in them called chloroplasts. Chloroplasts make it possible for plants to manufacture their own food through photosynthesis. Photosynthesis requires energy from sunlight. It also requires carbon dioxide gas from the atmosphere. And water that for most plants comes from the soil. Inside chloroplasts, the energy of sunlight is used to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose, a kind of sugar that is a plant's main food. In the process, oxygen gas also is produced. The oxygen that we breathe comes from photosynthesis. Living things that are composed of many cells usually have different types of cells. These have different designs that help them perform specific jobs. Not all plant cells, for example, have chloroplasts. Cells and roots are not involved in photosynthesis and don't have chloroplasts. But some root cells have an unusual feature that serves a plant in other ways. These cells have root hairs, delicate projections that can absorb water and minerals from the soil. Other cells serve as a plant's plumbing system. This cross-section of a root shows different kinds of hollow cells. Phloem cells conduct glucose from the plant's leaves. Xylem cells conduct water from roots to other parts of the plant. A photograph taken with the help of an electron microscope shows how xylem cells have a tube-like shape that makes it easy for them to conduct water. 